What's up guys, we're back again with some more Tucker Carlson. This one is still on the Russia trip. This is part one. Obviously, I've been reacting to a ton of Tucker Carlson lately, guys. A lot of people wanted me to react to his stuff. The interview with Putin. Obviously, we did the grocery shopping one. We did the McDonald's one, which blew up. I appreciate it. Much love to everyone <laughs> from Ireland to Russia to Ireland to all over the world. Because that video got so many viewers from like the UK and America. So I appreciate the love and support, guys. Today we got something brand new, okay? We got where he's un he's reviewing the underground metro, guys. <clears throat> so it's like the train system. So it'd be like the underground in England, the metro in New York, something like that. But yeah, this one should be incredible, guys. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you all think, guys. Shout out to me on Patreon. Check out my Patreon. This is one of my most requested videos to do ever. They said, please check this video out. It's on his YouTube, so I have to check it out, guys. Let's Let's review. One of the ways you understand a society is through its infrastructure, the places where people gather, the places where they go to travel. If you've got a lot of people in one place, it tells you a lot about the people. So That's true, guys, right? So that's true. So he said a lot of the places that you go to, like in Ireland, for instance, we have like the infrastructure would be like Dublin Airport, you know, which is like one of the biggest airports. It, ironically, it's one of the you know most popular destinations in Ireland. We got, you know, places like the Spire, O'Connell Street, which is like the main street in Dublin. You know, places like that, guys, would be the most famous place. Just off the top of my head, you know, in Ireland, I know there's a lot of other places that people would say, but I mean man-made structures, okay? And those places, I'm not going to lie, I don't know what Russia's like, I haven't seen it yet, but Ireland is like a travesty, guys. It's so run down now, it's just disgusting, guys. Like, the city I live in as well is disgusting. The city of Dublin is nasty as hell. You know, they're not cleaning it up, guys. It's just, it's just gone to the dogs, me personally. But if you're from Dublin, let me all know what you think, guys. With that in mind, we're standing in front of the Kievskaya metro station and there's a train station next to it. Now, the metro station was built by Joseph Stalin 70 years ago. And the question is, how's it doing now, after 70 years? So we went in. That's a long time. Like, has the metro, has the underground in England been around for that long? I guarantee it hasn't. Maybe, like, since the 80s, so maybe half the time of this it's been around for. We do it to take a look, and what we found shocked us. Huh? Now, that's not an endorsement of Stalin, who was bad, obviously, nor is it an endorsement of the current president, Vladimir Putin. You may not like him either. Yeah, we're fair on this channel, guys. If you dislike people or like people, let me know in the comments down below. That's all I'll try and say. But it doesn't change the reality of what we saw or more precisely didn't see. There's no graffiti, there's no filth, there's no foul smells. There are no bums or drug addicts or rapists or people waiting to push you onto the train tracks and kill you. That happens quite frequently from what I see in the news in New York City. New York, New York City has gotten really run down. You know, America to me, guys, it used to be like this amazing place, you know, the 80s, and the 90s, it was like, oh, amazing. My parents would always talk about it, how it's like the flipping promised land. But now I look at the Middle East, I look at Dubai, I look at these other places that are amazing, guys, honestly. I don't really look ever at places like America as being these really nice places. Like San Francisco, super run down, super run down. I mean, t talk about an S-hole, like a terrible place. We're gonna see what Russia's like, guys. A place that they tell us is really run down in America, in America, in the Western, because America just, Europe just follows all of America, right? I I've never heard of this, so let's, let's get it, guys. Let's see exactly what the Metro is like in Russia. No, it's perfectly clean and orderly. And how do you explain that? We're not even going to guess. That's not our job. We're only going to ask the question. And if your response is to shout at us slogans dumber than the slogans we used to call Soviet and mock, that's not really an answer. How does Russia, a country we're told is a gas station with nuclear weapons, have a subway station that normal people use to get to work and home every single day that's nicer than anything in our country? We're not gonna get, we're not gonna speculate. We're just gonna raise the question and wait for someone in charge to give us an answer. What is the answer? So we'll stop the lecture and let you take a look for yourself at what the Kievskaya metro station in Moscow, Russia looks like today, February 2024, in the middle of a war. Here it is. This is gonna be crazy. So, you know a lot of people hate on Tucker Carlson, you know, saying he's anti-American, but I think he's actually just trying to make America better, guys. He's trying to make the Western world, Australia, you know, Europe, all these places a lot better than they are, you know, because they're saying we're getting run down. We have to pull ourselves up and actually try and perform at those high standards once again, right? Are 
Are those mosaics? Oh my god. I used to paint that in art class. Jesus, boys. That, that is, I mean, that's a mosaic, guys, honestly. Oh my god. Classical music as well is kind of adding to the whole triumphantness of this. So there is a mosaic of a nice family riding on a tractor, you know, a, I suppose Russian family. Who else? The train is clean. There's no graffiti. There's no dirt. There's nothing. The place is clean. Bro, have you guys gone to anywhere in Europe? It's like a hellhole in these train stations, honestly. Look at you, Russia. Fancy, man. Fancy Russia. So obviously, you know, they have the same European architecture, you know, that we have in Europe, guys, in Ireland. And, you know, that sort of, what do they call it, guys, the, the old style architecture. They don't have that in the US because it's only 200 years old, but we have that kind of old style architecture, the same in Europe. So this isn't super impressive or anything, but it's clean, guys. There's no graffiti. Like, this has been around for 70 years. I mean, if this was in anywhere in Ireland, I mean... the the Lewis and the Dart already looks like terrible. And it's only been like 20 years or something. So, oh man, we're going down a bad path. Yeah, it's interesting guys, you know, obviously now I just apparently react to Tucker Carlson videos, but like, it's crazy to think that like a place that basically we're told every single day, or at least the best of my knowledge, that places like Russia are just like absolute, like just travesties, have no money, disgusting, you know, the people are poor as hell, the people look like they had okay clothes, I mean, at the end of the day guys, the way the USA works and the way the capitalistic society works is, it spreads everywhere like no matter what i'm not praising america for making russia good i'm saying that like the money is just gonna be everywhere you know america just pushes that money and if you don't become capitalist as well then they just invade your country and they'll just make it capitalist you know that's kind of how america conducts business worldwide but you know you can also praise the guy who made the train station <laughs> obviously the guy is probably not a good guy a lot of people would say completely evil a lot of people would say he's a good guy but like you know you know, obviously the, the people have that opinion. I have no real opinion on that. I don't really know too much about that uh, Stalin guy. I know, but World War II and stuff like that. But the train station is nice. You know what I mean? It's crazy like that. You know, the train station looks like that. I remember like in Dublin, guys, just as a reference point, like the train station, it's 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 just dirty, man. It's just dirty and like there's just graffiti and stuff like that. So how can a train station look like that after 70 years? You got to ask yourself a question, guys. You know, what is, what is that guys? Is there a different society? Like, what is it? And I'm asking you as a watcher, tell me what you guys think it is. If you're Russian, please let me know. If you're European American, please let me know what you think. Very impressive. Honestly, you know, there's no dirt, no rats running around the place, no graffiti, no degenerates that even are walking around the area. You know, normally there's guys with hoods up in Dublin, just like, you know, conniving basically. None of that guys. So, I love it. Let me know what you all think. Much love from Ireland to everywhere in the world. Stay free. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.